Hey guys, this is just Paul Williams Jr. with Above the Hook. Today we'd like to talk about something that's really important to us and should be very important to you, and that's kayak fishing safety. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, there were over 150 paddle sport related deaths in 2016. We decided to make this episode to show you, our viewers, the top five safety items that we bring out on our kayaks so that we don't become one of these statistics. Number one. Clothing. On the water, no matter what time of year it is, it's important to dress for all conditions. Here on the central coast of California, our water temperature tends to be on the cooler side. So I like to wear this NRS Farmer John wetsuit paired with a water wicking SPF shirt. Some anglers choose to wear a dry suit or even waders, but in the summer, they tend to get pretty hot. Remember, don't forget your sunglasses and a face shield. The last thing you want to do is paddle or pedal with a raging headache from staring at the sun all day. What we wear on the water can be completely different from what you wear depending on the conditions where you live. Remember to always check your local weather and dress appropriately, but make sure you're prepared if conditions ever change. Number two. PFDs. PFDs are designed to keep you from drowning, right? But still, millions of anglers decide not to wear them. Remember those ever-changing conditions we were talking about before? Anything could happen out on the water. If you were to take a dip or for some reason become unconscious, a PFD could be the only thing that could save your life. I personally love my Hobie ripcord style. Some anglers choose to go with a more traditional style like this NRS Chinook. The back is high to keep you comfortable in your seat, and it has a lot of pockets for extra storage. It even has a place for you to clip your radio. Number three. Radio. In the event of an emergency, or if you're without a cell phone signal, a VHF radio can possibly save your life. Having a way to communicate with other anglers, or even the Coast Guard is an absolute necessity when you're out on the water. I use this standard Horizon floating VHF radio that I picked up at Pro Kayak Fishing. Make sure you're familiar with all your local emergency channels in case you need to make that distress call. Number four. GPS. On the water, it's pretty common to find kayak anglers using fish finders. Our local waters tend to get pretty foggy all times of the year and we sometimes lose sight of the shore. We recommend either using a fish finder like this Lowrance Hook 5 that has GPS built in or a standalone GPS unit like a Garmin to find your way back home. Number 5. Bilge Pump. If you're out on the water and in rough conditions or somehow you've compromised your hull and you're taking on water, it's extremely important to have a bilge pump on your vessel. I've personally watched many kayak anglers use a bilge pump to pump water out of their holes so they didn't sink to the bottom of the ocean. We personally like to use a manual style pump that can be purchased at any paddle sport retailer. Our team would like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Above the Hook. Hopefully this video can help you make some good choices when you purchase your kayak fishing safety gear. Remember, we always recommend going through all your gear and inspecting your hole before leaving shore. You wouldn't want to leave behind something that could possibly save your life or paddle out and realize that you got a cracked hole. Once again, thank you for watching and remember to stay tuned and get hooked.